um, the new circuit board needs a little bit of preparation. Um, it looks great, but what I found with these is that the little copper pads, that you, the little pads that you're soldering onto, um, they don't seem to want to take solder very well um, as is. So I'm just going to scrape the surface of these again with the top of the craft knife just to um, get rid of any oxidation that's, that's on the top. And uh, then I'm going to put a blob of solder on each of these pads before I put the thing in. Um, that way it's going to be a much easier soldering job to get the um, circuit board held down into place. Each of these pads, just a few scrapes. There may be um, a contact cleaner you could use on this instead of scraping. I didn't have any contact cleaner to hand, so I'm just using this. Put the pad and apply the solder. That's a pretty large blob there, I actually didn't need that much. That's better. And uh, it's easy to know which way it goes because this gap here is where the wiring comes out. The wiring is actually labelled here. Uh, you can't see that very well. Let's try and bring it into focus a little bit, shall we? Okay, on there you can see ground V plus and rev is what it says on that. So those go at that end. So I place it into position, making sure we've got all the wires as far out of the way as we can. Let's put all of these out as far to the side as we can get them. Now I'm going to go, you see, we need to get these all into position. And luckily these boards are a bit skinnier than the original boards, so you've got more room to maneuver some of the bits at the side. Okay, I think I'm more or less clear there. I'm in under the two tabs at the end. Just need to push it down over the tabs here. Find my knife to lever in. One. Oh, that wire is trying to escape. Don't want that there. it to be there. Alright. And push. Okay. So we're all more or less in position. Now we just need to put the wires roughly where the tabs are. What I'm going to do is then go around and solder everything into position. That seems to be fine. It's good.
So we've now got the new circuit board into position, all the things soldered into place. Okay, definitely onto the home straight now. Um, so just going to do the wiring up of the power lead. So this is just an ordinary end snipped off a fan I don't use actually. And um, on this one, black is ground, red is the positive voltage, and the white on this one, often yellow on some, is the RPM sensing uh, signal. We have that all nicely soldered up together.